So what is transepidermal water loss? Well, if you see that you have dehydrated or a little dryness to your skin, one of the causes could be that you are suffering from transepidermal water loss. Okay, so what does that mean, right? So transepidermal water loss literally is just the loss of water out of your skin. And of course, when we lose the water, it also will contribute to losing moisture, which will then give you that dry, dehydrated look. And what could you see? You might see, some of you might have a little bit of itchiness in your skin. Some of you might also see some redness in the skin due to that dryness. So these are some things that it may be a bit of flakiness. So that could be some of the other symptoms that you see in the skin that might make you think, oh, maybe my skin is dealing with transepidermal water loss. Okay, so that's that part. So let's explain a little bit deeper what it actually means and what is it doing in our skin and why should we be taking good care of it? So transepidermal water loss really is the process between the second layer and the top layer of your skin losing water. So what does that mean? Okay, remember your skin's kind of like um, a three deck, right? We have the top layer is your epidermis, the middle layer of your skin is the dermis, and then below that is the subcutaneous or the hypodermis is another term they use. We're going to be focusing a little bit more on transepidermal water loss that comes from the water, um, basically it's like water moving up and out of your skin. So it starts in the dermis, the middle part, and then it makes its way up through the first layer, which is the skin we see in the mirror every day, the epidermis. So transepidermal water loss, so that makes sense, it's moving and it's going up through the epidermis and then it's evaporating out into the air. So when this is happening, it's gonna to lead to the skin having more dehydration. And this is where it gets a bit interesting, is that though we have a bit of transepidermal water loss that's happening throughout the day, it's quite significant while we sleep. So transepidermal water loss can definitely be more of a stressor in the skin at night. And that's mainly because your skin is going through, or your whole body is, is naturally going through its own repair process. And part of this is that we start to see some mechanisms happening in the skin that will lead to different types of um, situations. Like I said, that, that itchiness, maybe more dry and flaky. You might see that redness coming through due to that dryness in the first place. So what do we do about that? So before I get started with all that, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and of course hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Okay, now, what can you do about it? What can you do about losing water while you sleep? Well, one of the easiest things to do is that you can start using a night cream. Night creams are, have a little bit more of an occlusive nature to them, which that means is it helps lock and seal in all of the goodies in your skin so that as that natural evaporation or that epidermal water loss is occurring, it's gonna lock it down so you won't end up having that dryness, dehydration, redness as I mentioned, and of course, any of that flakiness. And some of us do get a bit of itchiness too when we're losing a lot of water in the skin. So that would be my biggest advice and the best way and the most fastest way for you to be able to manage when this is happening. Now, what kind of um, uh, night creams can I recommend for you? Well, I've got two for you today, and this might be easy to accommodate if you're a little bit more of a normal combination skin type and if you're a little bit more on the normal to dry side. So this gives you a few options. And as with all of the Eminence moisturizers, you can always add a little bit of water if you feel that they're a bit too rich, so you'll still get all the benefit from the moisturizer, but have a little bit more of a um, comfortable feeling to the skin, especially if you lean more on the oil your side, I mean, yes, yeah, so the oilier side, and you can always add a few drops of your favorite facial oil from Eminence to the moisturizers to richen it up. So you really have that opportunity to be flexible uh, to do so. So here are the two that I'm gonna bring up. Let's first start with our beautiful Marine Flower Peptide Night Cream. Now this one definitely has a beautiful texture. It is a little bit in between um, it's like a gel cream, but it's a bit richer on the creamer side. I don't know, it's hard to describe because when you put it on, it has this silky kind of finish to it, but you definitely feel like it is on your skin. I would definitely recommend this for those who are a little bit more of that oily, normal combo kind of place. You can add a little bit of water to lighten it up. 
will not go wrong there. And if you're looking for a little bit of a pick-me-up, if you are dealing with the signs of aging, like fine lines and wrinkles, you may also like that one as well. And to go to the next level up is our Minoy Age Corrective um, Night Cream. This one is also very effective and a lover, and so is that. The marine flower, you know, not to discredit that one too, but don't forget your neck and your chest area as well. So think about really giving yourself a beautiful full coverage of moisture. And the Age Corrective uh, Night Cream also will help with um, any of those visible signs of aging that you may have. So you're kind of getting a little bit of everything, right? So there's nothing wrong with adding a night cream for your uh, nighttime routine. And in some cases, some people just also love to use it in the day. No judgment here. Remembering that transepidermal water loss is a thing. It can affect all of our skin. And remembering that if you are seeing certain signs in your skin, as I mentioned, dehydration, a little bit of that flakiness, there might be a soft little bit of itchiness to the skin and maybe red due to that dryness. So being mindful of those might be the signals that you need to see that you may want to be incorporating a nighttime moisturizer to your routine. So there you have it. And of course, if you want to see more of our fabulous videos, just continue and see which ones you want to watch next. And I'm with Natalie, of course, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye for now.